That's a nice trout. That is a nice trout right there. That was a delicious breakfast. Hey, that was a very good breakfast. Big breakfast. A lot of it. We're going cool. on a little adventure today, huh? Yeah, gonna do some uh, stream fishing. Before some nasty weather coming. Talking to our neighbors there, they're calling for rain, so. right here. Give her a shot. See if we can get some fish in before the rain comes. Did you catch one? Chub. A chub? A chub. The heck is up with that? I don't know, but that's what I got. A chub. Just cast it in. That's probably what I saw a jump fall. Alright. Get on down the stream. So I'm just gonna get down here, please. Away from where everyone can easily fish. I'm just gonna start with a yellow humpy. Basically, just a big, a big wolf. <clears throat> that seems to be the chub master. Oh, big chub. Look at the size of that thing. I'll call you the chub fisherman. That's, that's his nickname today, the chub master. The rocks are slimy. I'm going to take it bigger. So there's a fish or two right over there off those edges. Wait for Dad to get down here and let him give it a try. Let me guess a chub. Where's the chub? Yeah. Probably getting down into the area. Oh, that was a nice one. Oh. They misgaged it in the current. That was worth a trip down here, right there. That's three nice ones out of this pool. Oh, 
something big in the... Yeah, I got a big wolf on. Oh, there we go. Salmon? Salmon? Yeah, I thought... That was a salmon. Nice little guy. Get you back in there. Oh, that's a nice one, Dad. Look at this. Oh, he came off. That was a good one. That was another salmon. My barb's pink. Yeah, that was a nice one. Go down a little further. Nice little bushy. Caddis, the old elk hair caddis is getting all beat up. You can have the best dressed fly in the world, and I feel like the more beat up it gets, the better it is. I think the fish like it more too. Look at that brook coming in right there, Paul. What do you get on? You got a grasshopper. Maybe a little too big for us. There you go. That's a good one there right you there. go. That's a nice trout. Let's see it. That is a nice trout. That is a nice trout right there.
That's a nice throw. Oh, yeah. over there too, oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that fish. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. Uh, look at that. Gorgeous. Look at that trout out of a stream pole. And I didn't pinch my barb. It's okay. There he goes. Salmon. Look at that bugger. I don't have that bar pinched either on this thing. I've switched flies and I don't have my forceps. Yeah, I can pinch it for you. Well, you fish it. Heading back out. Don't leave without me. If you get there before me, I, I might be a little while. Whew. It's a warm walk. Get that back in the truck. This is a good photo walk. I'm going down the other side of the bridge and get some photos. Today we're back home sweet home. Yeah, home sweet home, Paul. Got rain shower. But thankfully, I guess yeah. the, you know what? there's no wind. We got our fishing in without the rain. Boys, we had excellent fishing. Yeah. I don't know how many fish we caught. Yeah, we caught quite a few brook trout. Well, and salmon too. The mosquitoes are out. We're going to try to take care of that right now. I think the plan for tonight, what we're going to fish out here. If it's not raining cats and dogs, we're going to try to fish out from here. If the rain stops and lets us get on the water, that would probably be the best, uh, that would probably be the best alternative. Yep. But, uh, I probably should turn your canoe over. I'll get it. Get a smudge going? Yeah, exactly. I'll take care of the sea day. That's exactly what I'm thinking, Paul. We'll see. That birch bark's magical stuff. It is. That is good stuff. Yeah. Your only pair of boots wet? It would be help if I wasn't standing in a mud puddle. <laughs> it might. Yeah. Well, it would help if I didn't stand right there in the mud puddle. Oh, yeah, I think it's going to go. No. I think it's going to go. What do we use the clearing shower? Just a clearing shower. Clearing yeah. shower. And then the bad weather continues. But this will hit the spot. How's that? It is good, Paul. Good stuff? It is. That meat is tender. Well, that's the end of another fine trip. We didn't get out fishing last night. It was a bit poured all night long. We 
did quite a bit of fishing yesterday, so we figured, well, we won't suffer. So we had a good dinner, deer steak and vegetables and stuff like that. So we still had a good day of fishing. And we get out before the rain. And plus we figured if it was gonna rain, I'd rather go fishing when I have waders and rain jacket on, wading in a stream, than uh, sitting out in the canoe. I don't know, there's something about sitting in a boat getting poured on that just isn't always that appealing to me. But sometimes you do it because the fishing's good and you're there and yeah, if you want to fish, you get to deal with what the weather throws at you. So that was a good trip. And as in typical fashion, we picked up in the pouring rain. And just like it typically does, right now, the rain has let up. So it's just a drizzle right now, but man, when we were tearing down tarps and tents, it was just pouring. Oh well, get home, get a little work ahead of us now, get everything cleaned up and dried out, put away for next time. So good times, but I wanna get home and see the family, so. I guess until next time, get outside. It's good for the soul. See ya.